Hi boys and girls, it's Jenny from Art with Jenny K. Today's teaching video is how to create a citrus artwork. You're going to be creating circles and then turning them into lemons, limes, oranges, and grapefruits. All you need is paper, pencil, something to color with, and something to trace. I used an old roll of tape. You can use whatever you have on hand. So I'd like you to pause this video, go gather your supplies, and then come back, and we're gonna go through step-by-step step how to create this beautiful piece of artwork. Pause the video here and gather your supplies. You'll need paper, pencil, a circle to trace, and something to color with. Make sure that you get a variety of pinks, yellows, oranges, and greens in whatever medium you choose. Grab your circle template and trace it onto your paper. You're going to draw some by themselves. You're gonna to wanna to overlap some. Some can be going off of the page. However you want, fill your paper with partial and full circles. Then take your pencil and draw little tiny circles inside of each one. This will represent the center of your citrus pieces. To get the inside slice of your citrus, you're going to draw triangles. Starting from the center, you're going to draw your lines out toward the edge until you get a triangle shape. Some of them will match and some will be irregular, like a real piece of fruit. Have fun with this step and start on one edge and go all the way around until you have filled the entire citrus slice with these triangles. You're going to repeat this step on each of the circles that you traced, adding the triangles in the middle of the different slices of citrus that you created. Great job on that step. I know it might have felt a little bit tedious, but now you get to have some fun coloring. If you wanna follow along with me, grab the different shades of green that you have, pick one of the slices to create a lime slice. I like to start with a dark color to go over my pencil lines, and then I color in with a lighter green so that I can get some variety. If you want, you can use markers, colored pencils, and crayons for more variety. Now for the next slice, we're gonna do grapefruit, and I'm gonna use a variety of pinks for this. I think that pink looks really beautiful next to green, so I'm gonna take different colors of pink to create this grapefruit slice. You can do the same. Follow along, pause if you need to, and then come back and we'll do an orange and a lemon slice. Okay, great. Now grab your yellow and let's turn one of your circles into a lemon slice. You'll notice that I'm using a light yellow and a dark yellow to get some variety. If you don't have two markers to create two different shades of yellow, remember you can simply use crayons and colored pencils with your marker, if you're choosing to follow along with me, to get some variety. Whatever material you're using, go ahead and color in all the triangles so that you have a refreshing lemon slice. Remember, pause the video anytime so you can follow along and stay with me. The video is gonna go a little bit faster than you're going to in real life. So just pause and come back when you're ready and we'll do an orange slice. Nothing screams refreshing citrus like a nice orange slice. So go ahead and grab all of the oranges that you have and turn one of your circles into a beautiful slice of orange. Color in all your triangles just like before and use any variety of materials that you have to give different shades of orange to your orange slice. Great job. Now go through the rest of your paper and continue creating citrus slices in the same technique that we've already discussed. Outlining the shape, filling in the triangles, and coloring with a large variety of yellows, oranges, greens, and pinks. Now you're gonna color the background. Choose a color that you think would look nice with your citrus slices. I'm going to use a light blue. First, trace around each citrus slice, and then color in your background. 
Use a color that you think would complement the colors of your citrus slices. All right, boys and girls, I hope you had as much fun with that as we did. Please, if you decide to share your final artwork on social media, tag at Art with Jenny K. I would love to see what you just created. Until next time, take care.